Okay, um, I'm experimenting with this AV plug circuit and um, just to see uh, what we can get out of it. Uh, we have our power supply, neon power supply back here, battery. I have the meter hooked up for current. And the negative on there, and when I put the positive on this lead, we'll have current going through this. Um, then we have our single wire to our AV plug, and that's connected to this capacitor, and that's connected to this capacitor on this side. And here we have uh, a SIDAC uh, device that uh, acts like a spark gap, and will, and when this reaches 250 volts, we'll dump it into this coil, spark coil. And then the other side here is connected to that side of the cap. So every time this goes up to 250, it snaps it and discharges it into here. All right. Um, let's see, our current is virtually nil. Let's put this on. Right. 46 milliamps. Um, that's about what it was the other night. Um, Okay, we're going to hook up just one wire. So let's put the noise on just so we know while things are happening. Okay. Okay. The sparks, that's just one wire hooked up on there. And this was barely hitting 200 with some other caps. The smaller cap is is coming up there, um, but we can see we're generating enough to pulse the primary of this, which is 1.2 ohms, um, and get a decent little spark out of it. Okay, now. Playing around with this, if I touch the body of this coil, more sparks. It's charging faster. You can see where if this thing is resting, if this power supply without any load on it is resting at 46.9 or 45, I consider that. Uh, you know, not what we're using here. If if when I add the load on there, I'm just subtracting the 46 or whatever it uses normally. And how much additional power does it take to do these uh, experiments? We can look at that as our part of our total loss, really, because we have to generate this voltage to uh, load up this AV plug. But there's possibly ways to make this like a jewel thief or something that runs on practically nothing sort of like this I mean hopefully a little bit less but now playing around with this uh, the body of this when I touch it we get faster charge it has to be a capacitive thing going on that that's helping to pull more out of there to look 4.7 now I'm going to take this lead that I just wrapped around here, it's insulated by its own wire, uh, hopefully it's enough, and we're going to put it on the other side of the transformer here. Uh, we're using 72 milliamps to create these sparks. I'll turn the light off. Hopefully it records it all. Now it's a 0.33 microfarad capacitor. Total 71, 72 milliamps to make this thing spark like it's uh, in a car, just about. That's what I would say. Um, that's pretty good, one wire. Um, we do have this one capacitively connected here, so however that's affecting things in the coil, we're 
still not pulling a lot of current. Uh, let's say that we've added 48, 20 some milliamps to create this spark. Is, is the power consumption that we're creating by doing this. Without, I guess there was, you know, a capacitive connection is a form of, you know, uh, current flowing in and out of the circuit. You know, but it's, it's natural. Just when you look at it this way, you wonder, wow, what's going on? You know, a little bit of static or whatever's happening. But she just keeps running. As soon as this capacitor charges up to 250, the side act dumps that 250 into this primary, and we get our spark. I just moved my contact a little bit further away, but that's a decent spark. Um, that's all I got to say about that. I don't know if you can see the value of it. It's a .33 microfarad capacitor. You get them in computer power supplies and uh, anything that has. Uh, fairly heavy uh, surge suppression and all that. But she keeps going. Now, normally to run a coil like this in a car, it would be getting hot. I don't want to touch it right now because I'm holding the camera. Hot at all. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, you know, it really wouldn't even be any sense to measure the voltage happening here, so it would be happening so fast, the meter wouldn't be able to read it. Now, if I take this off, just going to get our every once in a while spark We're back down to 47 milliamps. Now I'm just going to lay my finger on this side. Now it burned me. Want to I thought that was pretty good. Uh, I'm going to have to do some more tests on this one disconnect this. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.